Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Good afternoon, everybody. It's June the 15th of the Early Organic Vegetable Garden Series, and it's uh, I'm finally getting working back on my garden here. So I've already rototilled it, and you can see um, I've got uh, a helper here today, which I know he's going to be a problem. I've got some training to do on that guy. Uh, he's... Uh, he, he uh, thinks that freshly uh, rototilled uh, earth is a uh, some kind of sandbox plaything. So, um, what I'm doing here today is I'm installing a duck fence. First thing I got to do before I do anything is I got to protect my garden this year because this is the sheer number of ducks that I'm going to have roaming around the yard and, and they are going to be free ranging. So, I'm taking my, my poles and there's some, I'm not planting uh, pole beans this year. Um, I, they, we've discovered after uh, three winters uh, that pole beans don't freeze worth a crap and there is no way. I hate soggy beans and that's what happens after you freeze them and you can't can them. They're even worse. So uh, we've decided to scrap pole beans uh, completely. So I'm going to use my pole bean poles and I'm going to make a uh, corner post and we're going to string up uh, chicken wire today. So I'll uh, let you uh, have a look after I get the corners in. I'll, I'll give you a shot of what I do for my corners, how I'm going to make it so I can string the, uh, the wire up tight. And uh, what I'm going to do, and there's my helper down there. Just look at this dog. He's uh, he's absolutely crazy. I, I got a problem. Uh, I'm, I've got a serious problem with the garden. So it's that dog. I'm going to have some training to do. So he uh, just loves uh, playing in it. But the soil this year, uh, I'll give you a shot here. It. Uh, I, I discovered another thing about. Uh, I, re I did some. Uh, I've done some research, and it, and somebody sent me a link. I forget who it was. Sent me a link about uh, you know ducks and gardening, and it turns out uh, duck feces doesn't have to be composted, according to what the article says. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. But I want to just show you this soil. It's so black. It's it's much blacker than last year, um, and it's very fluffy. Like we've had an absolute ton of rain and the garden is still fluffy like you walk on it it's still like a, 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 a like a, a, a bed of uh, foam um, it's really uh, it's unbelievable when I wrote it tilted when I first wrote it tilted uh, it you sink well was actually Doug was sinking almost to his belly uh, the soil was so fluffy so but I'm going to this year we're going to do a lot of uh, you know using the straw from the ducklings uh, to cover the 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 rows so that we don't have uh, weed problems. I'm going to use a lot of straw uh, to cover it up and smother the weeds. I'm not going through this again. So I'm going to get at it here and uh, I'll show you what the corners look like once I get it uh, done and then we'll string the wire up. I want to show you what I'm doing here. I've uh, I've hammered in uh, just some cedar posts, uh, the same posts I was using for my uh, pole beans actually. And uh, I'm just putting corner brace on. Uh, this is just so when I can string the wire up, I can string it up tight and it stays tight. Because what will happen, as soon as you string the wire up, if you don't do this, uh, the corner brace, what will happen? Uh, during the summertime, you, get, you know, we get some rain, uh, get a little moisture, water gets, uh, the soil gets soft. Next thing you know, the uh, corners are leaning in and then the wires, you know, uh, falling down. And I don't want to be dealing with this wire. I'm putting the wire up and it's going to be coming down in October. Uh, when the garden comes out and until then i once i do this today i am not screwing with it anymore so that is uh why i'm you know putting the corner braces in so that uh, you know the wire i can get it tightened it stays tight plus i want to have the wire uh, off the ground so that i can go with the weed trimmer and you know grass trimmer there and walk around the outside of the garden trimming it so but that uh, is what i'm up to i got one done well actually i got them all pounded in uh, on all the corners and i'm just putting the uh the cross braces on and then we're going to string up uh, about 260 feet of uh, chicken wire. I'm just putting two foot up, uh, two foot width, uh, just to keep the ducks out. All right, I've got the uh, the fence uh, corners in. Uh, nothing fancy, basically uh, it's whatever I had. Actually, you can see down there, uh, I didn't even measure. Like, what the hell? I'm just using pieces, whatever I had handy. So we've got the uh, the corners up. So now I can string the wire up, and I don't have to worry about the, uh, the corners... Uh, you know, halfway through the summer, caving in on me here. So now we're gonna uh, gonna get some. Uh, I've got some uh, galvanized uh, metal rods. I'm gonna uh, just stick in uh, along the uh, the fence line. But uh, I'm gonna go grab them, and then we're gonna stretch the wire out and uh, string the wire up. So I'll, uh, we won't be doing any planting today, but uh, we'll definitely be able to uh, start planting or start planting uh, tomorrow is the plan here. So I'm. Uh, Oh, I'm gonna be glad when the garden's in. I, I've actually, I've be, actually, I've been stressing out because it wasn't in. Well, I didn't get the uh, the wire done here. Right, uh, I gotta go deal with the ducks here right now. I've gotta uh, go sort the uh, the ones that have hatched. But I've got the wire up on that side, and I got down to the far end. So 
I got down to there and uh, the wire ends right around there. So tomorrow I'll finish the wire and uh, I'll get my, uh, I'm going to get the corn planted, uh, tomatoes, you know, I'll get some planted tomorrow. So, uh, but I've got to go deal with the ducks right now.